Hey guys, it's Mariana and today I'm vlogging. Today is a Wednesday so I don't have any class. Oh, careful, careful. And so I'm gonna take my bunny to the vet because um, uh, she's been limping so we don't really know what's up. We don't know if, it's bro if her leg is broken, sprained, if she has a wound somewhere. I don't know. As you can see, she's only using one paw. She's having a hard time because she can't put pressure on her foot. She can't groom herself. Flower has never been in a car except for the time that um, she was brought home for the first time. But you know, I so I don't know. I'm just gonna pack her some stuff just to make sure she's as comfortable as possible. I'm gonna put some water in this tiny little container with maybe some vitamins I don't know and in here in this container I'm just gonna get the food I'm gonna get some food and I'm just gonna put it in here so I know it's not that much but this is the leftover food that she had from breakfast so it's like not over her diet or anything and I'm gonna bring her food bowl just so that like while she's in the car she's always gonna have water i'll just fill it up a little bit so at least she has a little bit of water she has to stay hydrated and of course i'm gonna put in some vegetables hold on okay so um i have cabbage a little tiny piece of cabbage and a tiny piece of kangkong and i'm just gonna leave this here they have been washed they have been rinsed okay so the only reason it's in this container is that i can't find a smaller one so yeah put it in here and I'm just gonna fill this up with water I will I will be asking my sister if we should put some vitamins in this um, just so that you know she has a little bit of something um, but I don't know yet and I'm just gonna put this in here as well so that I can just give it to her in the car um, like I said flowers never actually been out of the house or not out of the house Flower has never been in a car ride, so we don't have a carrier. We will be having to use a cardboard box, which I feel so bad about. Because she's probably going to chew that thing, and it's probably not going to be as comfortable. Um, but yeah, so also I'm packing some tissues just so that, you know, if anything happens, there's that. I don't know what else a rabbit would need. <laughs> I think that's actually it. I would give her, like fruits and stuff as a treat but she's only five she's I don't even think she's five months old like I think she's four months turning five months old and so they can't eat fruits yet I have this prepared and I'm gonna have to get like a cardboard box ready for her so okay so we found this big old printer box and I think this will have to do because we couldn't find anything else and there are handles at the side um, and I think her litter box would actually fit in here. That's her litter box over there. Her sisters are outside. So um, I'm going to try to set this up, I guess. Look at that. It fits. It's perfect. I'll add more hay. I'm going to take this like towel thing and put it here. This has her scent already, and hopefully she finds it comfortable. So in this box, I was able to fit in her litter box and this little space over here. Um, I don't know if it's going to move. Then I'm going to have to close this, I guess. Um, or what I'll do is like I'll tape this together so it's high enough. I don't know, because like, if I close that, I think that's a little bit too low for her. So my sister's here. I had to ask for her opinion. Um, I'm going to just be taping these up because she won't be able to jump out anyway, and I think it'll be more comfortable for her. And at least I'll be able to see her, so I'm just going to use duct tape. I don't think the vet is that far from my house, so like it won't be a long drive. But I would really not suggest doing this. The only reason we have to use a cardboard box is that um, this was kind of last minute, so we didn't have time to like get the carrier or anything. And we never planned on taking them out of the house anyway, especially since it's quarantine. So yeah, now we have to use a cardboard box. But if you have the chance to get a carrier and stuff, just like do not 
take them in a cardboard box. It's not comfortable for them. It's not safe for them, but it's the only thing that I can do right now, and I really just need to get her to the vet. Hi, Flower. <laughs> she's in her house. Hi. Oh, she's so fluffy. See, she's only using one hand because she's having trouble. Oh, poor baby. She's supposed to be using two, but she has to support herself. We're just gonna put flower in. Hi, baby. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to cover this. Hold on. I'm gonna give her a treat. This I know that this mask is too big for my face, but well, it's a cute mask, and so yeah. Um, and it's already twisted twice. Yeah, just sharing. But yeah, so they got flower and we're just gonna be waiting here for their call and for them to bring her back out. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully she doesn't need an x-ray or anything. I'm just imagine me smiling. So guys, um, the vet just called us and so we asked a bunch of questions. I answered it, answered them. And he said that he suspects that it's a fracture. I was hoping it was a wound that we could not see because if it's a fracture he said that she's gonna need surgery and we know that's very expensive so so I'm worried let's just hope that it's not a fracture let's hope it's a sprain or something and they don't see anything in the x-ray because I really can't right now man like um, so the vet called, x-ray is done, and he said that it's confirmed that she has a fracture, and it's not even like a regular fracture. It's like right above the kneecap or something like that, right above the knee. So, yeah, she would need surgery, but obviously we can't pay for that, so... <laughs> Uh, she's just gonna get medicine and the, the vet said like it can heal but it's just not the right position or something I don't know I'm gonna try to save up for her surgery I don't know how that's gonna work but um, there's nothing that we can really do as long as she keeps going to the bathroom drinking and uh, eating she should be fine according to the vet and she has been she's just been eating a little bit less but she's still been eating so that's good it's a good sign um yeah that's, that's my update i'm sad <laughs> hey guys um so as you can see i changed because i went out of the house so obviously i wouldn't want to bring in the germs from the outside to here and um where's flower i know she's in the corner here She's a little bit skittish, but um, anyway, I think I decided that, like, you know, especially because of the coronavirus right now, um, we just, surgery just isn't an option. But I really feel so bad for her because the thing is, it's not just like a little fracture, like in a human, a hairline fracture, you know, it's like, I think her leg isn't at the right place, so even if it does heal, it's just... I don't know like if dislocated is the word but um you know it's not gonna heal like how leg is supposed to heal and i don't know if she's ever gonna be able to use it again so i think that me being so desperate i'm gonna make a gofundme page and have my friend post it on reddit and i guess if i end up doing it i'll link it down below if you guys want to help out which i really doubt like no one's gonna see this video honestly but if you do so that i can actually have her taken to the vet and undergo surgery and fix her leg so that nothing goes, you know, so that she's not in pain or anything. Now, but then the thing is, um, one of the risks of that though is that bunnies are very sensitive and going under anesthesia, it it's pretty risky as well. But I do have hope um, because this vet that I went to, I've seen lots of like reviews and stuff saying that they actually operated on their bunnies and their bunnies had surgery there so um yeah and i'm trying to keep my voice low right now because i'm just here just watching flower because i just want to make sure she's okay and she's flopping right now which is a good sign my mom's calling me 
But yeah, I'm hoping that this all works out and I pretty much only have a week to get the funds for her surgery because um, the vet said that, you know, it might start to calcify if ever. Or that's actually their hope is that it will. But basically, if it starts to calcify like in the position that it's in and we have a surgery to put it back to how it's supposed to be, then that means they would have to like break the leg again and then stick it back and put their pins in whatever. So yeah. I um I was I was very hopeful and now I'm very sad. <laughs> She's so cute. But as you can see this leg over here, this one outwards because it's broken. I don't know if you can see that though. But the other leg, let me just show you guys this side. And then let me show you this side. Oh. Oh baby. Hi. Cutie pie. But look at her leg over there. So sad. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so it's much later on in the day. It's actually 9.07 p.m. And um, I am actually in a much better mood because I have uploaded the fundraiser like I posted it on Facebook and Twitter. I'll link down, I'll put a link down below to my Twitter post um, so that way you, like, you can see it. And I'll also add a picture here, I think, of what, you know, like the poster thing with the information just in case you guys want to donate or screenshot it crop it share it i don't know um but yeah so we're getting we're getting a lot we're getting not not a lot we're getting donations and i'm it's um very y you know it makes me very hopeful <laughs> so um yeah uh i think i'm just gonna end the video here because i do have schoolwork to do and this video has to get up by tomorrow um but if the surgery does end up happening i will update you guys or you can also just follow my instagram and my twitter accounts because i will be updating there for sure um they're both anna Irem 56 so yeah um yeah i don't know i know that this isn't a school related vlog but i don't know it's just something different to vlog my experience and um honestly i don't really know what else to say even in a serious video like this, I... Did you hear that? My brother's like screaming. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, even in, a, even in a serious video like this, I can't end the video properly. So, um... Bye, like, comment, subscribe!